You guys ready? Uh, ready? Yeah, yeah. Easy, easy, mate. Again? Good beer. I'm, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I'm, good. Good. I'm, I'm great. Good. Thank I'm you. Good. All right, get involved. I mean, I'm, I'm good. I'm good for a minute. I got, I got my. Go. Yeah, I'll have one. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. No, we're rock and roll, baby. Yeah, that's it. Party time. This guy's got the serious camera set, like he's got the angles, yeah, we like got these everything. fucking and then crazy lights, like we got this shit. Cause over here we're going, we're going off. Yeah, we're um, keeping it iconic. The rave room podcast. It's, right, that's, that's where we're, that's where we're taking this shit. Straight there, you know. Straight there. We're straight in our there. peak. <laughs> this is what we're doing. This is it. It's always a peak. Yeah. <laughs> Oh shit! What, what's happened, Brad? We 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 we're missing a camera. No, but I'm. Oh, no, this, shit. Is, this was much needed. All right. Wicked. I'm good. Are you good? Yeah, man. Good. Sweet. Well, easy, easy. Let's go. Let's go. So, welcome back to a base coast edition of the Rave Room Podcast. All right. And today I'm joined with T Williams and Arderland. So, thanks for fucking joining me. No That's worries, bro. Oh, thanks for having us, man. I'm double whammy on this yeah, one, aren't I? Yeah, Let's be yeah, honest. Yeah. It's an absolute pleasure it's to be here. Absolute pleasure. So, your set was phenomenal. Thank you and very so much. So is yours as well. I mean, Thank you. So, let's explain it. But how has your base coast experience been today and yesterday so far? I let the man that's on the high. Well, base coast is a very special festival. You know, it's very, yeah. It's curated so special and like it's ran by so many amazing people and it feels international, but also and it's in such a beautiful place. You know, in British Columbia, and you get so many people from all around the world and the stage set up to like how it's curated everything is so specifically you know uh it's it's there's so much you know articulation and mm -hmm. you know and everything is just it's it's just pure amazing fun and this yeah, is, i think this is my fifth one or fourth one i don't remember but like it's always such a good time you know yeah yeah, yeah. sick yeah and it's yeah. nice to see friends like it's you know good. yeah i haven't yeah, seen yeah. i haven't seen you in like a couple years yeah and so it's it's so nice when you see friends, but also you have it's always a new experience when I play this festival. Yeah. yeah. So um, and yeah, I love Canada. Yeah. <laughs> I love Canada. Like make it happen. All yeah, right. I'm not gonna lie. The, 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 like the, the thing you just said about like it being like so like into feeling that like, international, but also like it feels like super local. Like it and I love that fact about it as well. Like it's like yeah, you know, I'm meeting people from like I, I must have met like ten people from Edmonton. It's crazy. Like yeah. you know, and they're, they're all kind of like here, from Edmonton. Yeah, 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 yeah like yeah. partying. No, um, it's, a, it's it's like the best West Coast vibes in an international way. Yeah, yeah. exactly. You know, like they're they and that's yeah. the best of it. It's like yeah, yeah. It's, it's just very laid back. And you know, and I love the lineup, like the curation. Yeah, curation is amazing. Very, very, very amazing. There's so many different types of music. Yep. And it just, it just feels so right from yeah, the yeah. stage setup. Like the main stage looks amazing. The cantina was just like Sound wonderful. System. He played Sound last system night. Was phenomenal. Sound yeah. system like was. Like Thursday night was just phenomenal. <laughs> yeah, he closed yeah, out. Yeah. He closed out Thursday night. Yeah, yeah. Closed out tonight. And I'm, it's it's like one festival where I come early to just you know get a vibe. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. It's, it's 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 one of those festivals. As an artist, you come and just hang out, you know. Yeah. Experience and it makes it. you realize that yeah. this is what you do as as not only as an artist but as an audience, you know, to yeah. dance. You know, it makes you realize like what you're doing. You know, why you're doing it. Yeah, and you engage really well like with the audience as well, right? Like mm. really, really well with the audience. They're locked in. Straight yeah, up and down like they're, they're just locked yeah, in. Tonight for his set, I was just like, this guy took us on a serious journey. Oh, like, yeah, and I, I said that to him. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. And I, I would have just like blown it. Like, we've just finished the set. Like, and it's like, the journey was amazing, bro. Oh, like, thank the journey you, man. Was it means a lot. Amazing. Coming from yeah, you. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, when you that, set me up, like last <laughs> night, uh, I was just blown away. I didn't see T. Williams in so long, yeah, yeah. and I, I get in and we just and I'm like, this is insane, you know, and like it got me hyped oh, for tonight. You. Yeah, so. pumping like, and that's 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 what I'm saying. But that's what it's about, right? Like like, yeah, bass yeah. goes is like you'll come and you'll listen to your friends' sets and it's like, amazing. You know, you know, that's the best. Do that. yeah, that's, like, that's the best feeling when yeah. you have support from your friends. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. the most amazing feeling. You know. Yeah. I think I uh, when uh, the, I. We literally just like brushed up on it, but like you guys actually made a track years ago as well. Yeah. 
Yeah, it was crazy. I met I met T. Williams like years ago, like 2016, and um, he came yeah. he came to stay with us for a couple of days. Couple oh, days, man. Yeah, and yeah, we were yeah. like me, you, and Justin, Justin. When me and Justin Martin lived together, oh yeah, and we were listening to like uh, we were listening to um, oh, those yeah. records, uh, DJ Gregory records. Definitely, Remember? yeah. So I was t- so that so the <laughs> you reminded me. Yeah. So I was telling Justin, I was explaining to Justin Martin basically how his music and like how that influenced the UK scene and how he influenced like me to start making house music. Like it was like really like his early stuff on Buzzing Fly, like that yeah, was exactly. really like yeah, oh, Mate, yeah, wow. his, he had a big influence. In no, the UK. He, yeah, 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 a big I influence mean, in the UK scene. So like yeah, yeah. me, so, so but I'm there and I'm chilling. I'm like oh my god, like I'm chilling with Justin Martin and Ardalan who's like these guys he's oh it was it was yeah no I mean it was I mean I, I gotta hand it to Ju- Justin's been a mentor yeah yeah you know if, if it wasn't for him I wouldn't even be here right now you know yeah yeah, yeah so like, Justin Martin, like I said Chase he took me, he, yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he took me in you know and yeah. we made our first record together Mr. Spock and that started my career you know yeah yeah, yeah, and yeah I'm always record. thankful of that and then he asked me to be his roommate that's sick, yeah. <laughs> so I moved yeah, to Sydney. Yeah, yeah, like, how, how does that happen? Like, so that's yeah. what I'm trying to say. You just, yeah. just casually, like, yeah, it's like and Justin I'm, Martin. Yeah. And I went to, I was going to college in SF State, and then he's like, "Yo, come live with me." And we were like, "Oh, he would wake me up with a vuvuzela when there was like the South African World Cup. <laughs> he ordered like 200 vuvuzelas, and he would wake me up with a, with a vuvuzela. It's time to move your car. I had street cleaning." And I would wake up. Oh, it would be fun. I would wake up early to go move my car, and then we get McDonald's, and then I get tired again from all that carbs, and I would pass out. He's like, "You're not gonna have a career if you're gonna eat Big Macs and pass out." And oh. so I stopped doing that. <laughs> <laughs> and, That's so dope. Yeah. So it was it was an incredible experience. The 2010s were like, now that I think of it, that was like a crazy era, you know? It was a crazy so, era. That was a that was that that era for me was like one of the pinnacles of like house music back then for me like yeah i, I mean I, what do you think on that like what do you think i was i would definitely say like i mean to, do you know what for, for for the cross-pollination and kind of like that kind of experimentation and not necessarily like like we had genres but like you know like the stuff that you would do you guys were doing like with day and stuff like that it was just like yeah, yeah. bringing in the like the dnb kind of elements the harder basic but, but yeah. still in a very house yeah, way yeah, like house, yeah it was like you had the yeah. uk vibes Vibe, yeah and then you had the west coast vibes oh, and then you bruh, had like the so hip-hop hyphy mixed with jungle and which like, i already learned about that genre the hyphy genre yeah even when i came out with to you guys I, I met this young lady who was just telling me about hyphy like in the bay area yeah, yeah. and all that stuff like I, Oh, it's so dope. But that that was that era. That era was really. Yeah, that's when we did the whole like vocal. Me and Justin, when we made function, it was like a reiteration of like you know the pack, like mm. at the club, I shake my ass at the function, I shake my ass, and then so we had dope. Patty, uh, Justin's ex girlfriend, and who actually introduced me to Justin. We're like, hey, come in the studio. I mean, you know, we're all living together. He, like Justin would hear a beat that I'm making. He would come to my room. He's like, all right, let's do this. So really, was, yeah? yeah, so then we'd make a track right there, you know? And That's he was coolest, in the next room. The it, was stuff. Like, it was a very, very special time, and it really created like a experience for me to, and who I am today, you know? And like, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I'm very, very thankful for that. So you kind of got like the, the full mentor, living, like learning, and doing yeah, the studio and, time, Yeah, I mean, right? it was, it was, it was, yeah. I was very, I mean, lucky and like you know it's like living with Justin Martin you know I, I was yeah, a fan crazy. before we yeah, you know, yeah before anything you know and so then now I'm like living with Justin <laughs> it was just man it was some it was an era <laughs> so that's so yeah the Ted's like it, that yeah. that stuff was crazy man yeah. like oh man and yeah just for me like just the UK was just on fire we was just on fire I, like I can't even you know Disclosure, Shadow Child, Mate, East, East, East Everything, like, like yeah. Julio Bashmore, like these all friends of mine, like you know. Oh yeah, uh, do, uh, Julio Bashmore's All Save was like one of the biggest tracks like yeah. ever. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Battle yeah. for the U, like these, these oh. all like you know, like oh, seriously, man, yeah. yeah. We, 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 we like the the moment was really like, it was just amazing. But was, like again, these are these are all cool people though. Like, these are all like really like, they're just guys like us yeah, you know what I mean like yeah, you know what yeah, I mean yeah, yeah. so in terms of like the, 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 the moment I feel like maybe like the kind of now it feels like people are more like attuned to kind of like being a big DJ or being a star or whatever, whatever, whatever. then it was just like your everyday guy that was just like ah just like yeah, you know like, like pre-social media too. pre-social media yeah so the lifestyle yeah, wasn't yeah, like yeah, plastered yeah. it was just like we're just gonna do this and 
I made a song. Oh, it's like Ease Everything makes a banger. Then West Beach makes another banger. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Bashful makes another banger. Like, I don't know. You know what I mean? Chalachon makes something. It's, and yeah. it's, 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 it's just, it was such a simple time. Like, and I remember like just being on my, my radio show on Rinse FM, like at the time. So people used to ask me all the time, like, oh, so, you know, uh, am I going out there curating this music, like per se? And yeah. I was like, no, I'm just playing music for my friends. Like, so at the time it was, it was like every, Justin came on my show on Rinse FM, like, like every person was just like, oh, this is just someone that I know that I've crossed paths with, that I'm friends exactly. with now, and they're making the fire music and that was it. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. There was nothing in it. That, that, no, that, it was sure. an amazing time. No, for sure, yeah, I know. And that's when I had that experience of meeting Shadow Child when I right. did my residency with Dirty Bird and Ibiza and I went to, did Rinse FM and met like all my heroes. heroes yeah, know, for me. Well, yeah, the string thing was massive, wasn't it? Oh, my string thing. That was a was, fucking big. That was such a banger. And like, oh, that yeah, like, inspired me where he's just making this like hard but groovy like yeah. house, but with that like UK bass yeah, yeah, undertone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, oh, it's such a good era. <laughs> it's such a good era. It really is. It was, man. One of the uh, talking to people back in that era, Clinton and Holker. Do you know who that is? He wow. was one of the first signings on Max, Chap Max Chapman's label, um, Renaissance. I'm not and uh, right. it was called All Night. And it was like around that time, but yeah. it was like, back then, like you say, the music was so like, it wasn't basic, but it was very structured. And it was like such a banging sort of era of like music. I thought it was anyway. Yeah. Like, no, people were just bringing in that's just another those one old school influences. Add. Like we're saying, yeah. like, if you think about everything, even like my set yesterday was just like, you're bringing all your influences. To, actually, you did that today, like very well, like as well. You're just bringing all your influences to the front, and I feel like that showed in the music. It really like For sure. all the influences were in there, and there's like no one was afraid to kind of like say, I, 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 I'm into jungle, or I'm into dubstep, or into no. grime, or whatever. It was all going into it's the like pot. And, yeah, 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 yeah. I do like that about this present era, you know, where like people are <laughs> so open to like hearing so many different sounds, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. And they want like surprises. And for me, that's amazing. Being ADHD, I'm like, oh, I get to play everything. But then trying to do that in like an hour and a half set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, in a way where it's like not necessarily open format, but you just make it like, you know, attached to everything. And just, you know, you swing it from one genre to the next, you know, it's just fun. And I mean, for me, yep. it's, you know, like it, it's, 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 what, it's what's inside you, you know, what you're feeling, what your emotions are yeah. and what you're and, and you put that in the set, you know, and that's what makes the most true art form, you know? Yeah. So. Plus you use the rotary mixer, which fucking blew my oh, mind. Oh yeah, yeah. man. <laughs> Talk about it, what, it? what made you pick that rotary mixer? So the funny thing is when I started DJing, I was playing in this club called 222 Club and yeah. I learned how to, I, I, before even using a DJM, I was using a rotary mixer in San Sick. Francisco. And so I've been always used to using a rotary mixer. And your rotary mixers are very just more like eloquent in a way where you're just like, you know, like, you know, you're like mixing house and disco, but it, it just, and that the ASR mixer that I was using, it's a yeah. Japanese rotary mixer, one of the best sounding mixers in the world. Yeah. You can really feel the different the sounds and like when you're mixing it and molding it. And I mean, it's, 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 you know, it can be overwhelming for some people, but it's so fun when you can just, because when you're mixing it, it just feels so natural, you know? You're, and it just it just oh. feels nice, you know. It feels like you know you don't even effects, you don't need anything. <laughs> yeah, you just you're just mixing. mixing. I didn't use any effects, and I'm usually when I use like another mixer, I'm just so ADD. I'm like, oh, I need to use the spiral. I need to make I need to make an impact for everyone. Oh, yeah, drop, yeah. drop, drop. But then when you're doing that, it just feels great. Even when you're not using records, it's mes mostly meant for records, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, records, But yeah, you know, yeah. bass coast, they're just so specific and you know they just they're all about the music Bro, yeah, they you know, my writer you, rotary yeah. mixer is always number one and I never get it so when that, i get it i'm like okay it's gonna be special and that thing's like uh six gram right it's quite it's a bit like well the a i don't know which model it was it was like the asr model 3000 <coughs> yeah. it's like yeah between th five that's grand. crazy isn't it yeah, it's like a cat, you know, it's like an old school Cadillac, you know, you're just feeling it. You're like, you know, you're moving your hands, you're feeling everything, you know, and I like feeling things. So <laughs> <laughs> that means a lot of, <laughs> that, uh, oh, a lot yeah. of interpretations in that. Yeah, I guess. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, interpret that how you will. I like feeling things. <laughs> it's like, I like to feel. Yeah, I like to feel. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, T, how did your set go and how did you like you plan it out? Like, what was like? Like literally, that then, so mate? second. This is my second year here at Base Coast, and 
last year I kind of like came in and I didn't have like like any expectations of anything I didn't really know the festival like that like I heard good things from other DJs people like I don't know whatever yeah. you know and I was just like played but then I got to play like super free and like eclectic and kind of like crossed like my whole like influences in history so yeah that was that was unexpected last year this year I knew what was up yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. oh, and that's why I love uh, this festival. Yeah, you can do whatever, yeah. and people will reciprocate. Yeah, I was like, oh, so that's what's up. Like, I can. You don't keep it safe, safe here. Nah, you know what I, mean? I was like, that's oh, so I can do. Nah, you, you, you guys want to rock with this? You yeah, guys are ready yeah. to roll with this? So this year, I plan like I planned out. Just I had planned to come and do exactly what I did. And I, I was love like, that. And I, you're yeah. set. And I got here at third, like you know, bef- right before you set, and I was just dancing the whole time. You're just. Rushing it, it. yeah, bro. It, it was the Thursday night, and Thursday night felt as like it was like it was like Friday night or Saturday. <laughs> yeah, night. yeah, yeah. There's so many people. We both closed the cantina stage. Cantina, so yeah. Stage. Yeah, that's a nice stage, isn't it? Sunset oh, yeah. is phenomenal, 100%. man. 100%. Yeah. yeah, and tonight I was like, oh, I'm gonna start the sunset. The sun, there's like the sun is shining. I'm gonna play some disco, and then I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna play some ballet funk. And then go into some UK garage. And yeah, like, yeah. Oh, very garage, man. Garage. Yeah. Well, this is what I'm saying. So this, the, the same thing with me yesterday. I was like, oh, yeah. well, let's just give them the full spectrum. Like, do you know what I mean? Let's give them the total. I, I, I started off straight up house. Do you know what I mean? I did, played a bit of soulful, which I loved the fact that I played some soulful house as well. And they were, they were still with it. Uh, you know, I've done some Latin house. Like, I, I kind of threw it down, whatever. Fuck, and then yeah. we got all the way up to grime. Like, we was, at the end of that, I was yeah, in right, yeah. the grime zone. Like, and it was... No, it felt good. And this is like a festival where you like really like whatever you're feeling, you know, Go whatever your yeah. emotions are. And like, and that's what makes it true. Like, you're bringing it all out. It's like therapy. Yeah, it is. yeah, yeah. yeah. I had like a big therapy. conversation about that. Like, yeah, the, we... Yeah, we and like, you know, it's like however you're feeling, whatever's going, your personal Let life it out. and everything. And and for me, it felt like therapy, and just giving that energy, getting my, get clearing like whatever energy that I'm feeling. That's like you know, whether it's bad energy or good energy, and then Leaving and then transfusing that, you know. Well, that's that's. What the, it felt like know. liquid IV in music form. <laughs> That's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. But music is good for that, right? It is the uh, way happens, to. You know? Yeah, man. You know, we're all, it all, we're yeah. all music fans. You know, we yeah, love, yeah. If you really love music, it doesn't matter. You know, you don't get jaded. You know, and and sometimes like when you're in a special festival like this, it takes you back to like who you were, like in the middle of the dance floor. <coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah, That's man. what all, That's we're all what normal people at the end of the day. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, man. And at the same time, we're just, you know, and like real true artists, you know, you, you play what you feel, you know, you don't that's have it. a formula. And for me, that's how I do it. I play to the environment. Yeah. You know? That's I, it. That's exactly and it. And I like to risk, you know, risking is fun. Risk is what always kind of pulls it, makes it get better, right? When you yes. step out of that comfort zone, that's when no, it starts it's like, to, for like, me, it's like you can't, yeah. you can't have your formula if it's different, you know? You can't use your formula, you know? Yeah. If, if it's it, you can't like bring an umbrella when it's sun, when it's sunny, you know. Nah. that's kind of my analogy. Yeah, all right, all right. If that's all right. a formula. Right? Yeah. yeah, unless exactly. you're Mary Poppins. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh, that's man. wicked, mate. So yeah. I'm glad you boys enjoyed your sets. So everyone yeah. looked like they really fucking enjoyed it. Like, Thank you. No, it. I feel really yeah, great. Yeah, I feel really and, good. Yeah, um, feeling dope, man. Yeah. Yes. Really, yeah. What's your guys' future plans for? You know. Well, I haven't music. seen this guy in a long time. Mm. Now we're gonna, you know, we're gonna try and make some music. We're, make some music. we're trying to finish some music we're this time. Music. Yeah, we're gonna yeah. find. Also, I don't need to, we made a song like years ago, and it's somewhere in my hard drive on my PC computer. Find that track. Find that. But so, we're gonna do some new shit too. So you going to San Fran or you going to London? I'm gonna we're go to London, London and then when coming, I, yeah. I move, I'm moving to LA soon. So oh okay. yeah, and I have to. I have to. So one of my one of my homies, he had a baby recently. He li- he's in uh, Encinitas. Right. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm definitely coming perfect, your yeah. way. Come to yeah, LA moving, and then yeah, we, we could do that. Speech. We have some studio. I'm, I'm writing an album right now in this studio in Tarzana with this amazing producer who runs this incredible studio yep. named Jean-Michel from Montreal. And so I've been there for a year, right? He's been helping me write my album. So it's, it's an incredible, incredible experience. So oh, when's man. the album coming out then? Album's gonna... So putting on a halt and I'm going to release a little bit more banger stuff because my album is going to be more on the you know Art of Noise Trevor Horn yeah yeah, yeah meets like Yellow but also it's it's it, I can't describe it but it's pinpoint the sound but it's more musical with like you know different like elements of Detroit music Detroit Electro to like Chicago House 
to Italo Disco, everything. Yeah. But it's, you know, for me, it's like, I think the goal is just going anywhere, you know? You yeah, just being creative and letting letting out the, come the, to, yeah. the expression. Yeah, just going for it. Like UK, LA, California. Wherever. And that's, yeah. that's, that's wherever it takes to make music. Cool, man. I, I, like the sound, I like the sound of the vibe, Free like flow. mixing. Yeah, 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 we're yeah. Mine's, is, mine's is the same. Like, I've got an album. My album's coming out in October. Is oh, it really? Yeah, like, literally, like, literally just finished it, like, a couple of weeks ago. I got two more singles with Defected as well. Coming okay. like yeah, one nice, with, actually one with a, an amazing South African singer called Co. It's amazing, and I got some remixes that are dropping. Actually, Charisma did a remix of like oh, my last amazing. single, yeah, as well. So yeah, I got I got a lot of shit. The, the yeah, next, true, yeah. the next yeah. six months, there's just gonna be music coming, a lot of music coming. Yeah, album. That's amazing. Vibes, yeah. yeah and I mean, then I want to get this guy. Yeah, we're yeah, gonna let's get do it. Thing. We're gonna do it. Yeah. yeah do I it. mean, yeah, my album. I'm aiming for 2024. I have I have I have a track. With Egyptian Lover on there. Oh really? Oh, that's yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. sick. And yeah. I have, a, I have a I have a song with like the guitarist from Foreigner. Yeah. Dope. And then um I'm, I have an EP for Hishi Day as well. Nice. So mate. yeah. You two boys have been busy then, haven't you? Oh, very busy. Yeah. Well, trying to be. Yeah. Trying, trying, trying to be. Trying to be. Yeah. Yeah. Mind on, on the, you know, on the prize. Yeah. Like keep focus on the creativity. Exactly. Keep focus on like you know, because that's and the, the funny part is I'm sure you're like this as well. Like. You're always creating. You're always creating always. new shit. Always creating new stuff. So I'm, I'm like, yeah, it's time, time to let all that stuff go and yeah. let it out and let the world hear it. And you know, exactly. So next year, then we're gonna see a back to back at Base Coast. Uh, you know what? Good. That needs to happen. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> yeah. That'd be freaking tight. Because you, bo- you both closed the canteen stage. Does yeah. that mean yeah. you should both back That'll to back so it? We didn't make that happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> get that, get that, we'll right get that single out first. And then we'll get the back to back. Yes. Ah, and then right. you can both play your albums back to yeah, back. Yeah, we're gonna yeah. <laughs> we'll do that, man. It's an we'll A to A. Yeah. Album to album. Yeah, album is that album's <laughs> sick, isn't it? <laughs> it's called it album to album. Yes, Let's album go. to album. Let's go. A yeah, to yeah. A. Yeah. Don't right, any Let's more do. ideas just to give me a text, I'll text you. Yeah, you know I mean? got it. Aight, aight. <laughs> Bet. All right. Cheers. Thank you. Well, you thanks. Thanks for coming on, gents. No I, worries, I know you're super busy. Thank, I appreciate the time for myself and doing oh, this man. anyway. It's an absolute pleasure. You know, pleasure I, having us. I fucking means a lot to me. So, um, and you both are legends in the game. Oh, appreciate so, it. Man. Oh, big up, man. You. You pleasure. Know, I'll always follow your stuff anyway and uh, share it on my Instagram and stuff. We'll do. So, cheers. So. <laughs> Salute with the moves. Salute. <laughs> <laughs> No, thanks again, gents, and no uh, I wish you all the best for the future. Likewise, my brother. Yeah, thank you. Easy, bro. Thank you for having us. No worries, thank you. Cheers. Ooh, is that that dope. Yeah, yeah, that was great. Uh, uh, Adi, nah, A to A. A to S to S.